So guys, many of you have seen these plants and are like, oh, too scared to even touch them because you see it looks like a bonsai and you think, ooh, that requires very, very clever people to look after them and not let them die. Well, just relax, take a deep breath, because I'm gonna show you how to do it. Number one, these are not specifically bonsai. We call them a ginseng ficus. And most importantly, they're really easy to look after. What we call these is character plants. They have character. I mean, look at this boy. I'm even prepared to give him a name and call him Fred because he's just gorgeous. They are incredibly easy to grow. They can grow literally where their feet are wet, wet, wet. So what do we need in terms of looking after them? Number one, if you're in an area which gets very cold, so you get frost during the winter, these trees originally come from Malaysia and Thailand. All right, think about Malaysia, hot, humid. So you can't go putting your beautiful little fredlet here, the ficus, outside during the cold of winter. It is going to frost and it will die. So take it indoors then and keep it in a well-lit area that gets at least four hours light or even sun during the day. Very, very important. When you're watering your ginseng ficus, you can either do it with a watering can and a rose, and you're gonna water it until the water starts pouring out the base. And you're gonna do this if your plant is indoors, probably once a week would be more than enough. Ideally, you never ever want this plant to dry out. When it does, it gets stressed, these leaves turn yellow and they fall off. When it comes to feeding your ficus, there are various plant foods that you can use. All of these will work, all right? It depends on your preference. What you can use, mix it up really, really, really well, pop it into your water, dilute it, give it a really good stir, and whatever the bottle says, that's how often you would do it. And you can give your plant a good watering. So remember, now that we're feeding and watering, so you would alternate it. Most plant foods require feeding every second week. So you would water one week and then the second week you would do the feeding. Another way of feeding your bonsai is to give it a spritz with a foliar feed. And here I've got the multi-grow that has been diluted into water and this helps an amazing amount because what it does is we actually applying the liquid plant food straight onto the leaves as the plant is growing and, and doing its photosynthesis, so it's gonna be absorbing the plant food and the moisture straight in through its leaves. Okay, you'll notice I've got a paintbrush because what happens is that in these little crevices and that, you often get bits of buildup, extra bit of leaves that have fallen and dust. Give them a good dusting. And you can do that all the way down. Now you can see here, look at this, that stem, you can actually see that this has died off. So what we're gonna do is get the pair of secateurs and we are going to remove this bit. And we do this whilst we're busy doing our general maintenance on the plant. All right, next up is how we're going to look after the leaves. So a soft, clean cloth. And all I want you to do is wipe away the leaves. And as you're wiping the leaves, you're removing the dust off it. So not only is it looking good, but remember, you're cleaning the leaf surface to allow for better photosynthesis, better absorption of when you give it some plant food. Next up is you need to be armed with your pair of secateurs because we are going to be giving it a light pruning and all that does is keep the shape. Now, don't stress yourselves out, please guys. You are not going to kill the plant. What I want you to do is make sure that you're keeping your balance. And that's just an eye thing. It's no bonsai art and it all is about taking and reducing a bit of growth to get your balance on either side. This can be done by following the main stem down, looking for where your neck shoots are, and then removing that excess growth. And in that way, you're just containing your shape. So you see that over there? That's a new little leaf that's gonna grow, and if we let it carry on, it's just gonna get bigger and bigger. Not really gonna work with my beautiful roots here, so that baby needs to get taken off. Take a look right here. Do you see that? Not so cool. You can see it's already dying off. It's sending a shoot through there. I'm not really interested in that because I've got balance on there and I've got on here. So this guy, 
right off. There we go. This over here, a bit scraggly, we don't need it. This would eventually form one of those big buttress roots. We don't want that, so let's get rid of that. When cutting, remember to cut a few millimeters away from your next set of leaves. Use that as your guide. Fred seems much happier. I want to show you a quick trick on how to make sure that you're keeping your humidity levels around you, especially during the winter months when it's incredibly dry. These pebbles here are called brocatoni pebbles. It's a clay pebble that has been blown out during its process of heating to like 1,200 degrees. And they work fantastically for exactly what I want to show you. The first trick is to make sure that you soak them for six hours. So this is a green. They come in many, many different colors and I'm taking this guy and popping it into a bowl, right? And what we're gonna do is this is gonna form a base. Get it up to the level that you want. That should do it. We're gonna add a little bit of water in there. Not too much, you're not filling it all the way to the top. And this is gonna form a little reservoir. Then we take our plant and we put our plant on top of this. And what's gonna happen during the drier months now is the water is gonna evaporate from here, form a little closed system and provide your plant with that essential humidity that it needs. This works wonders, not only for these guys, but also for orchids. Well, there you have it, guys. That's the basic maintenance of how to look after your ginseng. That's all you need to do. It's not complicated. It's not rocket science. And you too can have a ginseng ficus just like this. And if you want to learn more about how to become a better gardener, then like this, share it. Go to our YouTube channel where you can learn more about taking on this thing called gardening and even becoming a better gardener.